Alright, shout out to Juan. I was a high up GMS. Me see we come, giving all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yeah, how about me? How was I? Also giving double honor to the Apostle of the Great Millstone. He's saying peace and blessing, salutation to you, Blake. Alright, and today I want to discuss basically, you know, what a follow up on a previous lesson I did entitled you're an Israelite and not what because although I did that video a week ago just yesterday I ran into some guys that's probably IUIC in our city they basically uh they basically made a religion about keeping the laws so they they thought we was fucking bugged out because we ain't have fringes you know what I mean and like they thought like whoa y'all don't need to wear fringes they thought that you had to keep the laws to get saved. Bullshit. Yeah, by works, uh, you say, but also by faith. And the works is not just keeping the laws. It's going out there in the highways and the byways and showing out people their sins. All right? And it's also enduring to the end. Because in Matthew 24 and 13, it says, He who endured to the end, the same shall be saved. But how are you enduring? When you build in communities in America, what like what trial and tribulation is that? You're trying to build our kingdom in somebody else's kingdom. Put yourself in Esau's shoes. You really, you really think he's going to let you get away with building your kingdom and his kingdom after spending 500 years minimum of keeping you away from your heritage? He's just going to let you do it. Y'all must never heard of Black Wall Street. What happened with Black Wall Street? That was trying to set up a little society within Esau's uh, kingdom, man. That's a threat to his power structure. And they didn't even know that they were Israelites. They were just trying to build. All right? Why do you think all these different movements got infiltrated by the government, including Europe, including IUIC? Why do you think, what do you think happened to the Black Panthers? What do you think happened to the Marcus Garvey movement? What do you think happened to... Um, these different organizations now called gangs why do you think they never linked up and came together man all right why do you think celebrities that saved up enough money to try to have ownership over networks have been demonized man anytime you come into a level or position of power you are a threat to the power structure man you really think esau's gonna let you build second number two esau's whole plan was to destroy you in america so he just gonna sit back and let you build when his whole game plan was to destroy you? You must forgot about some called the New World Order, man. Which you, you, I, you, I see. Y'all don't believe in that. Y'all don't care about the last days. Y'all don't care about the downfall of this society. You must forgot about the false flag attacks that's about to happen. You must forgot about the economic collapse that's about to happen. I'm saying this because a lot of you guys are waking up. And that's, that's beautiful. You know, you're an Israelite. You know, that, that's how you know we're in the last, you know, East, the last hours of Esau society. But then y'all go a, a whole, y'all make a religion out of the fringes, man. Y'all say we make a, relig a, a, a doctrine out of the name. Y'all make a religion or a doctrine out of some fucking fringes, man. Thinking I'm not being a real Israelite because I'm not wearing fringes when I go to Kroger's, man. What type of shit is that? And thinking you actually got a big... A big one-up thing on me, man. Here it is. It's about to be martial law in America. It, it, you, you, you're not going to be able to eat or buy food or clothing unless you have a fucking chip, man. A, 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 a great number of our people are about to fucking die. It's going to be some hell on earth in America. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming. And you worried about some fucking fringes, man. This was the argument between me and the other Israelite, man. The IUIC guy, man. Which I'm going to say he's IUIC because they use the same doctrine, man. But it don't matter what the name of the Most High is, man. And then when they retort, when they come up against us, they use the same protocol. You know, where your friend is, and they bring out the scripture. There's no name. Uh, I mean, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, should be saved. They use that same thing. But the, the thing is, you wearing fringes going to save you, man? Why are y'all building here? We, 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 we didn't wake up into this truth to build Zion in the land of our captivity. We woke up in this truth to acknowledge our transgressions and pray to the Heavenly Father night and day 
to bring us back to our real kingdom, man. All right? You know, we, we ain't come for the dumb stuff, man. Hey, put that motherfucking leash on that dog. It's a lot. But yeah, man. Hey, man, but, uh, hey, with that, man, I hope you brothers are edified. Just a small rant, man, based on an encounter me and another brother had with some IUIC guys yesterday, man. And to the next lesson, Shalom.